everyone, this is Leon from L3i. Uh, kind of a rainy day, figured it'd be a good time to make a, an update video. So I'm gonna show you just a real simple, quick and effective way to measure the headspace on your rifle to verify that you installed your pre-fit barrel correctly. So I have a CZ here, I took the bolt out. I'll take my cheek piece out for easy access. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the, the extractor and the tensioner from the bolt face. So I'm just taking a little pick here, hooking around this spring clip, removing the spring clip, removing the, the extractor and the ejector piece from the bolt face. So I have a nice clean open bolt face for that headspace gauge. So this is a set of headspace gauges I got picked up from Widen Gunworks. It's a pretty good set. Uh, it ranges from 39 thousandths up to 45 thousandths. So your headspace should fall within that range. This barrel I think currently has a 3000 shim in it and we'll find out what headspace it has with that shim. Cause I didn't do any of the measurements. I just put the shim in there. So we'll start out with a, a 39 thousandths, the smallest uh, headspace here and see if the bolt closes on that. The bolt closes on that one, so I'm just going to take my pick here, remove that from the chamber, move up to 40 thousandths of headspace. Bolt closes on that, so it has at least 40 thousandths of headspace. Move up to 41 thousandths. Bolt closes on 41. Pick that out of there. So we'll move up to 42 thousandths. A little difficult sometimes to get it in there. You want to make sure your bolt face is nice and clean, your bolt's clean, your breech face is clean. That way there's no gunk in there to give you a false reading. Okay, that closed on the 42, so we have at least 42 thousandths of headspace we know of. We'll take the 43 thousandths, put it in here. That closed on the 43 thousandths. Pull that out. So we have 43 thousandths of headspace. 43 thousandths is about ideal for most ammunition, especially Lapua and SNK ammo. Uh, so we'll move up to 44 thousandths and see if we have 44 thousandths. Ooh. There we go, I got it in there. It, it's a little stiff closing on 44, a little stiff. So I'd say we probably are right at the edge of 44 thousandths, 43 and 3 fourths, 44, it's a bit tight. It's using that cam to kind of cam into that face. Definitely rubbing on the face of the head gauge, headspace gauge. We'll, we'll put 45 in there. I know it's not gonna close, but we'll just show you. And it, it's, it's stiff, it's not gonna close on that 45. So, you know, I could, I could take that 3,000 shim out and move it down to a 2 thousandths and get it at like a, a tight 43 thousandths of headspace, which would probably be about ideal in this scenario. But I think 44 thousandths, I've already shot it this way and it shoots really well. So I'm not really worried about it. That extra headspace just, just means when it gets a little bit dirtier, it's still going to, still going to close easy for my wife, April. Uh, you know, newer shooters, young shooters, uh, I wouldn't suggest going a real tight headspace because they might start fighting that bolt as the rifle gets dirtier through a match. Uh, anywhere between 43 thousandths and 46 thousandths, I think is fine. Uh, anything past 46 thousandths, you're really going to start to notice some light strikes and some failure to extract and problems uh, with that. That's kind of the Sammy spec for your field no-go gauge, but... Yeah, definitely pick you up a set of these Widen gun, uh, Gunworks headspace gauges. Super handy to check your headspace, and you don't need any fancy metrology equipment. It's just simple and straightforward. So definitely, I think, the way to go. I think they're like $79, $80. Bucks. Not too bad a price. But thank you, guys, and uh, remember to get out there and make an impact.